We're going to move on to Solcom, and this is an interesting one, Hawk, because you predicted the horse to finish first in the race, I think. That's right. Yep. And uh, I think that's fair, but obviously first up in the Heatherly, uh, he, he won, but he was slow. Underwood uh, finished well, slow out of the gates. Turnbull, slow out of the gates. Caulfield Cup, slow out of, very slow out of the gates. Uh, how, I wish Reese was here. We could ask him what a trainer's got to do to, to get him to jump out quicker. What do you think? Look, it's, it's a tough one, and it's going to be one of those things that, uh, look, if you were just relying on, uh, we'll go with Bob Down again. If, if you, <laughs> you said Bob Down was preparing Solcom, you'd go, it's going to be a tough ask. Although, maybe one of those bush trainers might, be, might just, just know what to do. Um, but Chris Waller, you know that he'll, he'll have uh, his, his uh, team around him doing everything they can to get him to jump out of the gates. But I love having Joe Marrera aboard. I think that's a, that's a big plus. Um, mm. He's just got that knack with horses. He's coming in great form. He rode six at Tokyo on Saturday. Um, he won a, a group one there on uh, Friday night. Um, he's, and he's absolutely flying. Um, I think he's a lot happier now that he's traveling the world rather than, uh, than being based in Hong Kong. And um, look, if, if he can end up in the right spot, which I think he will if he jumps, mm. then, then he's the one to beat. But, but again, it's if he jumps. 3,200 is definitely his distance, I think, as well. The Caulfield Cup run was the Melbourne Cup trial. It was. Um, it was the fly fishing light, yeah. the, the one that everyone wants. If he begins well, we may well see Jack Rewalt in the grandstand singing, If he sings Mr. Mr. Brightside, Brightside, I'll vomit. <laughs> as a crow supporter. It's a fair chance of happening. If oh. he jumps clean, he's going to be in the finish. Um, oh. Look, even if he doesn't jump clean, he probably runs top five anyway. Yeah. Um, okay, that's, and that's it. You know, you, he's, he's got the ability to... Um, to overcome a slow start and put himself in the race, but that just getting away with them and, and putting him in the right spot is just blinkers off. Yeah, look, yeah. I think up to three hundred, that's not that's not, okay. That's not that's okay. I think, uh, I think, and again, that high pressure, I think, is, will be will be good for him. He has to go around as a as a winner for me. Yep, no doubt. I don't want to lose if he wins. Um, yeah, it starts going to be fascinating. I can't add much more, but I've got a few ahead of him. Shortened a little bit on the bet per exchange into $11. It's going to be an interesting one. The Magic Man obviously rides. Looking forward to Sockham. Just quickly, where do you see, if he does jump clean, where do you see him settling, Tom? Oh, it'd be midfield, if not better. Oh, better than midfield from Barry Four. It's interesting, um, does he have the same turn of foot if he does jump and settle in the first mm. well, four or five? You just don't at, know. You have see... a look at the horses drawn around him. Mm. Like They're all going to be forward holding a position, like if he's a length away, he's still going to have a plenty of time to, to travel up into that if, into a even if, spot midfield. Even if he's half a length or a length slow, he could be six back the fence. That's another huge concern. He does need clean no, air. No, no, one's, no one's riding tight coming to the corner. They're all pushing Fair out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We, uh, we'll see it, what traffic happens. Traffic will be the issue. Yeah, like as that's, in that's what, slow ones yeah, falling slow back on. in his lap potentially, but... Yeah, and especially if there is that pressure early, you know, there's yeah. going to be a few coming back. So, yeah, yeah it's it's going to. But again, Marrera is Marrera is a great rider to have on in that circumstance for sure. I, I think just as long as he doesn't pitter patter out of the start like he did in the Corfu Cup, he, he, he it was a genuinely Never genuine pitter patter. Peter Piper. It was a pitter patter. Look at look at the horse's uh, feet. Um, genuinely pitter pattered out of the uh, the gates in the Corfu Cup. <laughs> All right, we're going to talk Jack about Jack Johnson or something. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Pan, uh, gonna... <laughs> Peter Pat it on the window. Chances are you're about to lose. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.